Hello folks, this is Rodolfo Gutierrez with Go Engineer. In this video I'm going to show you how to create material specific flanges for your design library so you can use them in your routes. We'll do this in three steps. First we'll take a standard slip-on flange, make a copy of it, rename it to something different, then we'll assign a material to all configurations of that new flange, then we'll give it a material custom property so that we can show that material in all of our bill of materials. So let's go ahead and get started. First we're going into our task pane, maximize routing, piping, flanges. Go ahead and open that slip on will done flange. You can double click on it or you can drag and drop it onto the graphics screen. Okay. From here we'll do a file, save as, Make sure you're saving it as a copy and continue and save it in the same location as your design library. Save as copy and continue. Hit save. So now when you go back to your task pane, let's go ahead and close this out. You will see that new material specific flange. Just go ahead and drag and drop it again. Here what we have to do is change the material. So right click on the material edit material. Go ahead and select your material from the SOLIDWORKS materials. In my case I'm going to select stainless steel. Hit the configurations icon and make sure it's you're selecting all configurations. We're going to hit OK, apply, and then close. Notice that the color of the flange changes and that's because it took the standard color for stainless steel. If you like, you can also change the color of it. I'm going to change mine to a different color. Nice blue here. Hit OK. OK, so now we're going to create, let's go into our file properties. We'll create a custom material property. We'll select material, drop this guy down here, and then make sure we're selecting the material uh, text expression and make sure that it evaluates the stainless steel. From here, we'll go ahead and save it, close it, and that's basically it. Now we'll go ahead and create a route just to make sure that it works properly. Open up an assembly. Go to your task pane, drag and drop the new material flange. Notice that the color of it is actually the correct one, the one that we assigned. Make sure you don't save it in your design library. Hit save. Okay, so we'll accept our route properties. Make sure the stub comes out. Get out of the route subassembly. Get out of the subassembly. And then what you want to do is you want to open this route in its own individual window. And then we'll create, we need to make sure we save it, and then we'll create a drawing for it. Hit OK here. All right, insert bill of materials. Hit OK. And then here you notice that the material has been assigned for that slip on flange. This is Rodolfo Gutierrez with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.